With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. In this problem it is saying that a particle of mass m is welded in horizontal circle with the help of two threads of length l each as shown in the figure angular velocity is given here that is omega then we have to we have given this four option and uh, we have to find out that uh, which one of this given or of these these given options is true so here we have here we have the practical situation of this given problem now here one thing we can uh, we can easily see that if tension on this mass is acting like this we can resolve this forces in vertical direction or uh, and in horizontal direction to see its uh, horizontal equilibrium and vertical equilibrium so let us draw first of all its force component so here force tension force component will act like this and vertical component of tension force that will be act like this way so these are tension force now here if this is theta angle 30 this will be also 30 and similarly if this angle is 30 this angle will be 30 so here the horizontal component of this tension force will provide the centripetal force that is here I can write this can be written as T1 plus T2 sine of 30 degree and in vertical direction this will be T1 cos of 30 and this will be t2 cos of 30 so here horizontal force component this t1 and t2 will provide centripetal force so we have to measure that which one of this component or this uh, which one of this tension will be greater in magnitude so here i'm just using here vertical component because there is uh, nothing to do with this horizontal component it is simply maintaining the circular motion of this mass so if we want to measure or compare the magnitude of this force we can choose here vertical co component here so taking vertical vertical equilibrium so for vertical equilibrium we can simply write here that t1 cos of theta here uh, one thing i must mention here in downward direction also mg will act here so we can write here for vertical equilibrium total force in upward direct uh, to uh, net force acting on this block in vertical direction will be zero such uh, so here i can write this can be written as mg plus t2 cos of 30 so we can easily see that here if i write let me write here t cos of 30 so this will be here this third uh, this this can be written as t1 is equals to mg upon cos of 30 plus t2 so clearly from equation 2 from equation 2 we can e easily make a uh, judgment that t1 will be greater than t2 in this case so here if we look at the option uh, 
और ऑप्शन नंबर सेकेंड विल बी करेक्ट आंसर ऑफ दिस गिवन प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आफ्टर डे